All right, guys, welcome back to another JYJ repair video. Um, last week, my garage door opener started making a really loud grinding noise, and it would not open anymore. Um, I went ahead and take it, took it apart just to see what I needed to do to fix it. Um, it looks like the housing. I already took all this stuff out, but the housing for this uh, worm gear that connects to that gear there completely shattered um it even there's a part that goes up here and that broke as well i ordered the new part off of ebay i'll give you guys a look of that right now all right so here's the old parts all that grease in there that's it's gross um yeah i was playing with it just to see if there's maybe something was loose, but it was actually cracked. The entire thing basically exploded inside the housing. Um, so here's the new part. Instructions, we don't need that. They sent us a tube of multi-purpose lithium grease. I don't know why we need so much. Maybe that's why that's so loaded up. Uh, oh, nice. They have screws. I didn't think they had screws in there because I didn't look through the package before the video started. Um, I spent like 20 minutes looking for these screws that I had scattered all over my garage. So, cool. I was going to say we should probably save your screws, but looks like they sent them. All right, and here's the housing itself. You'll have to excuse my messy ass garage. So it looks like it's completely made of plastic. That's probably why it broke. Um, where I'm from, it gets up, gets down to like negative 40 below with the wind chill and all that. It hasn't been that cold lately, but it got cold enough to the point where this probably got super cold and then cracked, or maybe the garage door froze to the ground or something. I don't know. But we're going to try to make this a quick video because it's cold as shit out here. And uh, I can't run my heater because you guys won't be able to hear me. So I'm going to get you guys set up on the tripod up by the, the opener. We'll get the remaining things out of there. And then we'll try to put this in and see if we can get it to work. Alright, I got you guys up here. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the chain off the sprocket here. Um, I think you're supposed to be able to pull it this way a little bit, but since we're, this thing's already broken, we'll just, uh, try to get some slack on it. All right, that works. And then uh, we'll take this little board out of here. This was connected to the, the worm gear housing or whatever. Um, get rid of that. Now, I've already got the power disconnected. I got the, this is an old model. So there's actually a wire running from over by my door to the machine that goes to these posts it's just a push button switch so we got that disconnected we'll take this off and i think all we have to do is take these screws out here Should no, that sprocket's gonna be in the way. 
Well, let's just take these screws out and see what happens first. It's really hard to get a good camera angle on this. So I've got a shitty little iPod that I connect my phone to. Or a tripod, not iPod. And you're currently hanging from the ceiling right now. And uh, if it drops, I'll probably be doing a video on how to fix your fucking phone screen for... A new 22 Ultra. All right, this whole thing is going to come out and the board's connected and everything. So we're going to go to the side here, take this board off and see if we can just hang that off of its wires, which probably isn't good for it, but Should invest like a in a GoPro or something. Oh, okay. Let me uh, move the camera so I can see, show you guys what I'm doing on this side. It's going to be a little more in-depth than I thought it was going to be. And I've already got this grease all over my hands, so that's awesome. Can't find my spring clip remover, so we're just going to try to improvise here. Let's try this again. Hey, look at that. Uh, in hindsight, probably would have... Uh... Oh, shit. Left these screws in and then taken the, the... The ring clip out first. Now we're going to slide this gear out. Sprocket. We'll leave that up top. And then we gotta take these wires out. So a little black on the left. I'm just gonna put them back in. Once I get them rerouted through this piece here. So much grease.
I hope you guys can see this shit because I'm not moving my camera seven million times just to get one little video. I mean, I will, but it's going to turn this five minute video into a seven hours. All right, we got this out. Let's get to the workbench and then see if we got to put that shit together or I'm pretty sure this, this whole screw needs to go into the new one. Um, we'll take a look. Alright, we got the old one out. Here's the new one. I think all we have to do is take this this screw out and uh, put it into this one. And then we can get everything back together and then it'll work, hopefully. We'll probably have to adjust how far it opens and closes because I think that's what this screw does. Um, I guess we'll find out when uh, we'll get it back together. All right, that's in there. That spins. I think that's all of our parts. Let's get back up on the ladder and uh, get this bad boy working. All right, first thing. Let's get this uh, this housing screwed in up here. This is going to be a pain in the ass. <sighs> Since it's a brand new uh, piece of plastic, we're basically these are self-tapping screws. So it's going to be a pain in the ass to get them in here. I don't want to use my drill because 
I'll get a little trigger happy and I'll probably just strip it out and then this video will be a huge failure on something that's super easy. So. All right, I got that board back in. Let's get this uh, sprocket back in here. Do I need this piece? Oh no, it has the bushing installed already. So take this old one off. Get rid of that. And then, um, Next challenge is getting this little bastard back on there. I think this is going to be a lot easier than it was taking it off. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, so now all we gotta do is reroute these wires. I go through here. Oh, I almost broke this little MOSFET. Or was that a MOSFET or a, I don't know. I'm just pretending to know. And this goes on here, just like that. That piece in the last step is to snug everything in place and put those screws in. I don't know why this isn't coming up like it's supposed to. Oh, there we go.
just move this here. Now, before we get this screwed together, we'll probably get some of that grease in there. I really don't want to mess with that stuff. It's messy, but I also don't want to break my garage door opener again, because this sucks. There. Squirt some here. I don't know how you're supposed to do this. So if you try it and then something breaks, don't blame me, sorry. I think that'll be good. Last one there. Let's uh, plug it in and see if we can get it to see if something happens. Alright, so the, those buttons go to these two here. I'm just going to short those. You see the sprocket spinning up there? What it was doing when it was broken it was just going up and down again so i don't know if there's another fault in here but maybe it's because there's no tension on this so let's try to get the chain back on and then uh we'll play with all that other shit. all right so it looks like here this is the travel the, th the switch that sets the travel, I think this one's supposed to be under there. So when it goes up too far, down too far, it shuts off. I don't know if it was like that before I took it apart, but I'm going to switch that around and see if that fixes anything. Because it's still doing the open for a second, then close, and the open and close, and then it gives me a blinking light. Let's try that, and then uh, I'll fill you guys in. Alright guys, I figured out what was wrong. I had this piece. Where? This piece right here on backwards. I just did a little YouTube search. Doing YouTube searches for YouTube videos, I guess. Um, right in here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's that little thing that I said was like a MOSFET or whatever. What that actually is, is a sensor. It's like an RPM sensor. I'm assuming this is a magnet right here, and this tells the door how fast it's uh, it's moving and how far it's moving. I think it's just, no, it's just an RPM sensor, that's what they're saying. Um, so I got it to, I flipped it around, that's right there. Now I can short these pins again. The door goes down. The door goes up. Now the only thing I have to do is right here, set how far the door is supposed to go open. So I just gotta fine tune everything and then it should be good to go. Um, I'm gonna do that off camera real quick and then hopefully I'll uh, come back and show you guys a working garage door. All right, I got everything put together. 
all the wires connected up. Let's go to the door. We'll try to see if this works. Opens, close. That's weird. It keeps making some weird uh, noise at the end. I think the gear is probably chipped or messed up somehow. I don't know, this will do for now, I guess. I'm not gonna buy a, a new garage door opener because I'm renting. I probably shouldn't have sent, spent the money on this uh, gearbox, but I figured why bother them when it was probably my fault anyway. I think this will do for now, so at least my wife can get her car in the in the garage without having to get out of the car, getting out of the car and opening it by hand. Um, I don't know. If this helps you out, just give it a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching, guys.